welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife. It is day 13, I think, of Vlogmas, and it is December 4th. We started Vlogmas back in Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving right so Thanksgiving. that's why we're several days into it. Um, it is 47 degrees outside, not too bad, a little chillier than yesterday, but um, and it's 9 o'clock. High is going to be 61 today. Yep, it's going to be nice. Um, it's six to, uh, 9 o'clock a.m. We've been up a very, very, very long time. Like, I feel like the day is, it should be noon, <laughs> but it's not. And um, I've been busy getting ready for this cookie exchange tonight, but we got to do our jelly. And we got to beat the timer, you know, Miss You Know Who. Look what we have today. We have bread. We have bread. <clears throat> All right, let's try, Mom. All right. Some of you asked in your comments yesterday on, on yesterday's me. video, did you get bread? Day four. Day four. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Thought, thought she was going to punch it. Yeah. <laughs> I was Normally ready. I, Normally I do, don't I? I had it on my arm ready. All right. Here we go. Um. <coughs> something peppercorn special. Cherry. Pink peppercorn spread. Cherry pink peppercorn. Interesting. Oh, did you hear that snap? Never heard of that. All right. <clears throat> do you want me to jelly your bread? Please jelly my bread. You want me to jelly your bread? Yeah. Is that enough or you want more? Oh, that's plenty. All right. You going to jelly your bread? I'm going to jelly my bread. Yeah. You can turn the camera up. Right, here we go. We have bread. We have bread. But I still want to taste it plain. Let's give it a whirl. Here we go. That's good. That's pretty good. <laughs> I just good. I don't taste the peppercorn. I don't either. I don't either. I Unless there's it. a little, there may be a little heat. I taste the cherry. Mm -hmm. I'm going to taste it plain. <laughs> you saw it about to drip, didn't you? She about dropped it. Did you see that? There's just a little bit of a spice. Not yeah. bad. No, it's not bad. I mean, you you would be fine. No, but I'm, I really like that. I'm fine with it. Was you fixing that for you or for me? Oh, whoever. <laughs> I like that really, really much. Good. These That's are really, so good. That's really good. One, this so, has been the best yeah. advent. Several viewers... The only strikeout we had last night was the, the smoked Gouda. That was the cheese. Oh, the sm smoked white cheddar. Mm -hmm. Somebody shared that um, this was a French. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. And it means grandma or something like that. Grandma or mama or something. Something. Yeah. And so. It's an endearing name. Yeah. So, anyway. All right. So, so far for the jellies, we've uh, had a home run every day. Yes, every day. My least favorite was yesterday's. But I still liked it, if that makes any sense. I still it, liked it, but it was my least favorite of all of them. Was it apricot spread? Banana. Apricot banana. Mm, yeah. Well, it was just... Um, I think it was a consistency, maybe. Yeah, because it was a little thicker mm -hmm. and, and a little fruity. It was much like baby food. <clears throat> the consistency, I thought. Maybe the word apricot makes her think that. Or banana. Because I always banana. fed my kids banana yeah, baby exactly food. Right. So anyway, hey, let's get the day started. Let's see what's coming out of the kitchen. Okay, it's, it's already be long, been started. Long day for her. I'm gonna put some lights on the front porch. I gotta change, get that tire changed on Isaac's truck. I take Monday off for ministry so I can do farm work, and then I'm gonna spread some <coughs> uh, spread some litter. There she goes. And there's the timer. We gotta go. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. See you guys. Bye. So I am hosting my first um, cookie exchange today. And I bought coffee mugs at the um, dollar store. Really cute coffee mugs. And I am washing them up, getting a sticker off the bottom. 
and getting them ready. This is kind of their party favor. I mean, it's nothing major, <clears throat> but something they can use while they're here. It's dual purpose. They can use it while they're here and then they get to take it home with them. So that's what I'm doing this morning. I've got cookies in the oven. Uh, I got my, set my dough out last night, stuck it in the refrigerator and um, cookies are in the oven. It's the molasses cookies that are going first. And then <clears throat> I've got, I want to get, I'm doing my cookies early this morning because I have a fourth one and it is a long process, not a long process. Hold on. As I was saying, um, I, the process is not long for me. It's just actually, it has to sit for a long time before it's ready. And I want to get that done. I'm hoping I can get it made. This was a recipe that was mailed to me. So I thought, why not give it a try for the cookie exchange? And so I'm hoping I have enough time for it to come together. But we shall see. All right. So I have washed up all the cups and I think they're all washed. Yes. So they're all washed and uh, I'm just gonna keep getting cookies ready and when I do something new, a new recipe or whatever, I'll bring you back for it. Well, it's all fun and games until somebody gets burnt. I just burnt the mess out of my thumb. It hasn't blistered yet, but it's, I have a feeling it's going to. Um, I went to turn one of my Palmiers. Um, I thought it had cooled enough and I wanted to see if I, I burnt a few of them. And I wanted to see how badly burnt it was on the underside and I just reached and and not even thinking about the butter in the puff pastry and that hot sugar creating a sticky syrup hot scalding lava <laughs> and it got my thumb anyway okay so we have a new contender for the cookie exchange that I'm going to make so I'm gonna, actually going to have four different types of cookies here this was sent to me by Miss Roxanne Sparks, and I'm going to try it. I've never tried it, but it sounds heavenly. Now, the thing is, you're supposed to kind of do this thing overnight, like start it at night, and then they're done in the morning. But I'm going to do it like I'm doing it overnight, and hopefully there'll be enough hours in between that they'll have time to dry out and all that good stuff. But this is like a meringue cookie. Okay, so let's see here. Grab my salt. I have two egg whites that I've already uh, separated from the yolks. So they're going in my KitchenAid mixer with the whisk attachment here. Let me get you turned down. I know, I know. <clears throat> All right. And so to that, I'm going to put in, I'm not going to put in a pinch of salt because it's empty. Um, I'm not using butter in this recipe, so since I'm not using butter, I don't know if you can hear me, since I'm not using butter, I am going to add the salt that it calls for. That's kind of how I do things. And it just says a pinch of salt, so that's all I'm going in with. And I'm going to open this. It calls for clear vanilla. And the reason it calls for clear vanilla is because you want to um, keep the integrity of the whiteness of the meringue. Um, however, I am going to be adding some chopped pecans, and they are kind of finely chopped. And, um, gracious, I'm having a hard time getting into this. They are finely chopped, and so it's going to leave a little bit of like a pecan dust. So it's not going to be perfectly white anyway. But I obeyed the recipe and got clear vanilla. You're going in with a teaspoon of that. And now we're going to mix this, and we'll start it on low. Hold on, let me make sure I got my... There we go. I'm 
must have bent a spring. I've never heard a hit like that before. And I'm going to gradually turn it up. And we're going to beat it until it reaches stiff peaks. I'm going to gradually add in two-thirds cup of sugar as it's beating it into stiff peaks. So how do you know when you've reached stiff peaks? When it leaves a peak. I don't know if you can see that peak it left. There's a peak right here and there's a peak on the whisk. And see if I lift it up, it forms more peaks. So okay, get that off the whisk. I don't know how many this will make. So in here, I'm going to grab me a, I have a spatula. What did I do with it? Here it is. I'm going in with mini chocolate chips. This is almost a cup. It called for a cup. Um, so I almost went in with a cup. And a cup of chopped pecans. And I'm going to try my best not to get a lot of the crumb dust, but... I may have no choice. And I'm actually going to go in with a little bit less than a cup because of the dust. And I'm just going to take a spatula and fold the nuts and the chocolate chips in. Okay, my oven is preheated to 375. Now, my oven has been on all morning absolutely all morning so um it is perfectly preheated <laughs> so okay so now we're gonna drop this by spoonful onto this cookie sheet let me grab a couple spoons here Now this is probably, I would imagine, one of those recipes that you need to be sure. Um, it's not raining outside, that the humidity is good in your house. I have a feeling that this would probably be one of those type recipes. And I'm just can't, you can't see what I'm doing, but hold on, you will. I'll start down here this time. I'm just taking these and scraping a little bit. Now, this is what you do to all night long. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it in the oven and cut the oven off. And per the recipe, you should wait till morning to mess with them. But I'm thinking, okay, Eight hours of sleep. I have eight hours before these cookies need to be ready. So, I'm thinking we're good. That, um, now, and I doubt these spread any. They might, but I doubt it. I'm going to make some smaller ones just in case they have trouble drying. I've got some smaller ones here. 
All right, and I need to have at least 24, so let's see if I can get 24 out of this. All right, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep, I think I'll be good. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to set those up here right now. I don't think I have any nut allergy people coming tonight to the cookie exchange. If there are, I don't know it. So, these were super easy. I mean, this, this you can throw this together in no time. The only thing is the overnight part. And like I said, if you need them in the evening, just start it early in the morning and, and hopefully you don't need your oven. I'm not gonna, the only, Thing I have left to make after this is I have to make the icing for the brown butter cookies and I have to make uh, my dip and I need to get my dip made oh, but I need to get my icing made too so it can set up oh, oh yeah yeah I knew I should have done stuff yesterday but we were so busy yesterday I'm not going to try to get any more. I mean, I'm going to get one more. Let's see if I can find a I got a couple of spots I can finish this off with. And then we're going in the oven. And we're cutting the oven off. And I'm not even going to mess with them till it's time for the party. Till right before the party. I'll go ahead and get a platter out for them. Yeah, the palm ears look super impressive. I should have made my lace cookies. I knew I should have. But I wanted to try all new recipes. But I think these are going to be good. Okay. So, in the oven these go. I'm cutting the oven off. And they'll stay there for a while. So I thought I'd give you a real quick update. My sourdough starter is so super active that after I fed it last night, at some point during the night, it ran, it was so active it came out completely. So I'm hoping tomorrow I can make a loaf of bread. I don't know, but I'm hoping I can. Um, depends on how I have to recoup from today, but I'm hoping that that's what tomorrow holds. But I'm actually gonna put it in a larger jar I don't think I'm going to discard any today. I have discarded every day, but since I'm moving it to a bigger jar, I'm not going to do a discard today. I'm just going to make it like normal and um, then feed it, cover it up. I'll just discard what doesn't come out of the jar. How's that? <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to let that soak for just a minute. Because it, <laughs> when it exploded, I mean, when it rose up out of the jar, it made a mess. My cabinet's in a mess over there. The towel that was over it's in a mess. <laughs> We're just all in a mess. Okay, so I'm going to feed it real quick and... I'm just going to do a third of a cup of flour and a third of a cup of water and cover it up and we'll see it tomorrow and I'll probably make something tomorrow. So technically, as long as it's taken me to be able to use this, I didn't need to make it instant by adding a little bit of yeast, but um, it's okay because um, I had hoped to use it before now because I could have used it like on the second day or third day. And, um, but anyway, it's ready to use now. So I'm going to put the water in. I've got the flour in and I've got to make my dip and then it's on to house cleaning and setting up, getting supplies out for the party. 
I thought I could get a hair tie just to, uh, like a rubber band to put around here. Um, but I, there's so many, there's marks on here I can look at. It's, here's the first mark, here's the second, and it's right below the third mark. So, we'll see today, you know, what it does. So, I'm going to cover it up. I'll see you in, I don't know when. I got to start cleaning. I got to make my dip and then start cleaning. Okay, everybody, here are the Santa snowflakes, and I have already tasted one. And let me just tell you, they are very, very good. And um, so I'm excited to see what everybody thinks of these. So I'm going to set these in on the table and fill out my little card. Let me show you that. Well, it has officially started. The cookie exchange. There's Leslie's two nieces over there. There's Jessica. There's Jessica's mama straight ahead. Um, Leslie's cousin's wife over there on the couch, Miss Karen. There's Miss Caroline, and so they're just getting started. They got every light in the house on, so, all right. The cookies are in here. Let me take you in here. I don't know what all of these cookies are. Oh, take the lids off of them, There's all kinds of cookies in here. Oh, that's one of my favorite right there. I'll cover them right there. <coughs> oh, those are peanut butter ones, I think. I love peanut butter. Oh, look at that. Put the number in front of them. Or just put, just. Oh, oh man. That's got a banana. Is that a banana? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Oh, it's kind of like whoopie pies. Is that kind of like whoopie pies? Set that under. Well, they look absolutely delicious. And I hate to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and sample one of these right here. Um, and then the other one, we're going to do a little bag and start with it. Emily and Caroline can't play it. Emily and Caroline can't play it. What? Because we've already played it. They've already played it. They know the answer. When did they play it? Oh. And Jessica's they're handing out pens. They're, they're color for home. There's a part for home. Do you not know? It's a movie. I don't know who's watching. <coughs> <laughs> Y'all are here, <laughs> Number four. It's a very popular. Happens, it's a very popular Christmas movie. Number four. What happens when a bell rings? causes Frosty to come to life. <coughs> Number 12. What color are the berries of the mistletoe plant? 
<laughs> All right, cookie number cookie number one has been given. Out. What's it called, sweetie? This is a Santa Snowflake. Santa Snowflake. It's a and, meringue. Type. And they don't know who made what cookies. They don't know. Mm -hmm. The cookie tasters are tasting. This young lady here has a sophisticated palate. <laughs> They're laid out in the yard, the pallets are. <laughs> Three ingredient butter cookie. This is cookie number two? Number two. All right. I'm probably not gonna film all the cookies, guys. I'm not gonna film them all. We're just gonna get a few here. Oh, that's the, oh they're topped. Bring them over here and look at them. All. They're topped with some sugared glitter, edible glitter, sugar candy. Oh, they look very decadent. Yes. Very decadent. I can see now the texture is just uh, very soft, flaky. A little crunch. With brown butter icing. Pecan sugar oh, cookie like with brown butter icing. That sounds like something that came out of a bakery. I meant pecan. Pecan sugar cookies. Pecan sugar cookies. Brown butter icing. Brown butter icing. Come here, let me see it. You gotta show you gotta show me me on camera. I mean the viewers wanna see it, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. Leslie, I got me one You better eat. Okay, here we are. These are peanut butter cookies. Mm -hmm. It looks like come here, let me see. The design on the top, you ladies that are proficient with cookies, they usually take a fork to make that. That is correct. Yes, so <laughs> You're so smart. Soft molasses Oh, number five. Seriously soft molasses cookies. I think Really, what, what really controls the flavor of these cookies to the viewers is the kind of molasses that you choose to use. Not all molasses is the same. I bet a deep, dark... Sorghum molasses would be good. Is sorghum molasses a real thing? What? I'm just kidding. Oh, now these right here, you're talking about a gorgeous cookie. Red velvet cream pies. You'd, you'd just, just look at that. I'm trying this He's one. Gonna try that one. I'm gonna try this one. All right, this is number ten Cool Whip cookies. I've never had those. Hmm. Have you had Cool Whip cup cookies before? Drop us a comment and let us know if you've had them. Karen says fluffy. Mm -hmm. That right there, that red velvet cookie, delicious. Everyone I've tasted has been really good. But I've only tasted about two or three. Rain Deer Poo. I can tell you who made that one. I think they've been made on the channel before. Matter of fact, somebody made them this week and they left a comment. Theirs did not turn out like uh, like Jessica. Okay, Leslie, what are those called? Strawberry cream fields. Strawberry cream field. Very similar to the red velvet, just a little smaller. Looks really good. How do y'all like to play by paying cookie announcements? It would not be Christmas without gingerbread. Without traditional gingerbread ginger cookies. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Number 16 banana bread cookies. Yeah, this is a soft cookie. It has it has some type of soft cream on the top, and it has a slice a slice of banana on top. And I can tell you from experience, about five minutes ago, <laughs> that those cookies are delicious. The bomb. The bomb. The bomb.com. Most festive cookies went to the cool Oh yeah. yeah. Who, 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 who made this? I, 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 
Rochelle got the most festive. And Emily won. What'd you win, Emily? Most creative. The banana cookie got most creative. Hey, let's kill that. Kill that light. There we go. That's more better. That's more better. The snowflake cookie had two, which was one of mine, and then the rest were um, the pecan, that was mine, uh, peanut butter, seriously salt, that was mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and I'm not bragging or anything. Um, and then the ginger cookie got one. Can so you tell she's, she's humble? Can you tell she's humble? <laughs> I was trying to be, and everything I said, it was sounding like, well, that's oh. you can be. Okay, so. We'll skip that color. And the best tasting, which is kind of, in my opinion, the runner up to the best overall. And I will say that the best overall was a tie until I broke it. And that's what that means the person's gonna hate me. <laughs> um, the best tasting goes to the red velvet. Well, now, is that cake meat or did you do it from scratch? Well, that's good. And it's really good. You got to put it in a small hunt cake. Not the one. Oh. Bring the thing. Thank you, Mrs. Tomlin. And the best of all goes to the reindeer food. <laughs> <laughs> and let me get your pie. Which I really want. Okay, everybody, we are settled in. The cookie exchange has ended. It's about 1030 and the last person just left. And it went great. It did go good. I'm pleased. All right, ready for the cheese? Cheese. All right, here we go. Do you want me to do it? Yep. I get to punch you? Yep. Where's it at? Number four, right there. No microphone? No microphone. They said we don't need it. Who said that? We had a viewer said we didn't need it. Oh, what's it say? Oh, we're going to like this. What is it? Pesto Gouda. I like pesto. I like Gouda. I like pesto. Too. Oh, here we go. I made punch. So smells, I had a little punch. Smells good. I'm going to smell it. I can smell that pineapple from that punch I just drank. Here we go. It's not overpowering. Could probably use some more. I'm actually not a fan. Really? Yeah, you can have my piece. Hmm. I want the peppercorn one back. That was my favorite. It's pretty good. Maybe you still got the sweet from the cookies. Yeah. So, I mean, how many cookies did we end up having? How many choices? Well, there were 16 different cookies. Mm hmm And they brought 24 of each cookie. So. Wow. And they were good. They were really good. And, um... Um, Caroline bought the one, the best tasting cookie. Yep. That was the red velvet cookie. Yeah. The red velvet with the cream in the middle. Mm -hmm. And, um, I won a category, but I can't remember which one it was. I can't remember which category and I can't remember which cookie, but everybody seemed to like the brown butter cookies. They th thought those were really good. Mm -hmm. Um, Jessica's won the best overall. Her, um, pre we call them preacher cookies well, or no-bake cookies. No-bake cookies. 
Um, since we were doing it <coughs> at Christmas, she had some kind of Christmas name for them. So, um, yeah. They were good. They were good, and it was fun. I think everybody had a really good time. I think next year, instead of doing a cookie exchange, we're going to do either like goodies or um, desserts or some other to, to broaden the... Because not everybody does cookies. Like, I don't do a lot of cookies. I don't eat a lot of cookies, and I don't bake a lot of cookies. Oh, but hey, let me tell you what was a hit. Those Santa snowflakes. The meringue cookies. They were good. Roxanne. And your your dip was a hit, too. Yeah, my dip, yeah, it's always a hit. It's good. Did they show, make you show? They, it, I've done it before, so I referenced them back to that video. But, yeah, in case you... Um, did not see the million dollar dip. It's uh, I've done a video on it. It's so good. Go check it out. Re just search in the search bar, Farming Pastor's Wife Million Dollar Dip. And I'll try to link it down below. It's actually a Pioneer Woman recipe, so I'll try to link her her link to it down below. All right. If yeah. I remember. That's it for tonight. Today is a wrap. That and my voice is a raspy voice. Yep. <laughs> Time to head to bed. Yep, so it's all 11 right. o'clock. We will see you guys tomorrow. I'm sure we got, oh, we do have something tomorrow. Do you know what we have tomorrow? We have something very special tomorrow. Hang on. He's got to check his calendar. I don't need a calendar. No, I have no idea. We have Levi's Christmas program where he go where we go listen to Levi sing and stuff. So what I'm excited. What time is Seven. Okay. I didn't even know that. I'm the last to know. <laughs> he knows. He just don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> that could be true. So. All right, the sun's on. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all. Hey guys.